Did it hinder your relationship with Gucci? Because you was rocking with Jeezy? Because it fractured Atlanta when they both were going at it. Yeah. Did, was that an issue for you? Did it hinder your music process? It was really more of the other way around. Interesting. Um, me and Gucci didn't really have that much of a relationship in the early days. Um, mm. I was familiar with Gucci from the beginning mm -hmm. off Black T. You know, there was the White T song yeah. and then Gucci, Gucci and some other rappers did Black T over. And I didn't even realize how big Gucci was until I got locked up. Because with that, that one day I spent in jail, I was in there and niggas found out it was me. And I'd be like, yo, who's y'all top five? Like, you know, we started talking, having rap talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. man started surveying <laughs> for the next <laughs> take. And he started surveying for the next <laughs> take. Who's your top five? I'm on the drop to fire when I get out of here. Atlantic Records. And all these niggas were Gu saying Gu like, Guwap. Gu Gu and I was like, yo, like. Damn, this nigga Gucci is hot. Like everybody mm. that was locked up was saying Gucci. Wow. So um, around that time, you know, me and Jeezy had our, our, our fallout. And then I went and worked with Gucci. Mm. And, you know, Gucci had been a fan of Gangsta Grills since its inception. And he was mm. like, bro, I've always wanted a tape. What, what was the fallout over? Um... Dumb shit, egos. We was young. We was both prideful. Mm -hmm. Just some dumb shit. Like to be honest, like nothing worth anything. Some, but some shit you don't even want to talk about. It, it's yeah, it's, it's 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 water under the bridge. Like, right. um, but yeah, I did go. That you know, once once me and him kind of like had that fallout. I, I I went and started working with Gucci, and we did the movie. And that shit was fucking, oh. became a classic. Oh. And then me and Gucci went on a run, you know, and it kind of like, you know, it, it, in a way it like worked in my favor because I then became part of Gucci's rise, you know what I'm saying? Right. And we did fucking eight, nine tapes together, you know what I mean? I, we did the movie, we did Mr. Zone 6, we did the Burr print. Oh, we, the did, perp. we did the cold war like that's a lot. But that's a lot of how much time did y'all spend in the freaking studio? Oh, that nigga Gucci was he's not, he was nonstop. That's all he did. Like y'all gotta think, Gucci's one of the greatest ARs in hip hop history. Like, Dog. Yeah. Like, he's, he's brought up so many young dudes yeah. in Atlanta, I mean, man. It doesn't even it make don't sense. sense. Yeah. Migos, Thug, Metro, like Waka. it's so Waka, many. Like, OJ the Juice Mike man. Will, Mike Will's first placement Ugh. was on, on the Gangsta Grills, on, uh, Kill the Parking Lot. Like, Ugh. so much shit came through group. Pee Wee Longway. His umbrella's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's his impeccable. Godfather umbrella. Yeah. Nikki. Nikki. He can take wow. credit for Nikki. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, like. Wow. So, like, yeah, we start, you know, and there was a time, we almost did a Gucci and Drake tape. Like, I had, I'm, the first time they ever got on the phone together, I had, I had got them mm. on the phone. This was after he came home, right? He was, I think he was, was he locked up or was he out? I think he might have, he might have just came home. Yeah. He, he, had, he, had, he had just yeah. came home. Yeah. And I put him on the phone and they start, they talked about doing a tape together. So there's like three records on the Burr print. No, not the Burr print. The Cold War series that are like Gucci and Drake records that, that, that were for that project. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember that. But time. yeah, the tape never, it never happened, but but it was close, you know, but but yeah, so. Yeah, it definitely caught, you know, I mean, me and Jeezy, it's 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 documented, like, we, we, we fell out and we wasn't fucking with each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, when me and Jeezy went to go patch things up. What brought that together? Um... Hurricane Dave, who worked at Hot 107.9 at the time, you know, he really, he really went to bat for me, you know, and I was on the station at the time, and, you know, the, the situation between me and Jeezy kind of was, kind of bled over into the streets, and... In what way? I mean, there were a couple incidents, you know? Entourages? Yep. 
Yeah, there was a there was a the okay. usual. There was a situation mm -hmm. at Sweet Lounge. There was a situation at the Notorious uh, uh, premiere. Was that because of your relationship with Gucci, or just from prior, or everything? It was because of my. It was because of my relationship with Gucci, and it was because you know I was you know I prior. Was, yeah. I was I was I was taking shots on the tapes, like got right. you. Yeah, I was you know, mm. I was talking shit, um, and you know again I had somebody in my camp at the time that was fueling it and like. Mm. You know, very. Who was this notorious you got a instigator? <laughs> who was instigator? the notorious instigator? He said, he said early, if you rewinded, uh, that there was somebody who was with him who was a hothead. He actually yeah, yeah, said the name. Yeah. I mean, y'all can go if y'all do y'all research. It can, you'll figure it out. But it's all good. Um, and you know, shout <laughs> to him. I just actually just seen him in Nashville a couple days ago. Why is everybody in Nashville? What's going on? There? I, I don't know, but yeah, a lot of everybody's in Nashville out. right now. Yeah, like uh, drama, like we got to move. Over so, there. so basically, between Hurricane Dave and Boo, Boo Tyam, yeah. who was working with Jeezy at the time, um, we wound up, we you know, we we had to sit down, you know, and we 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 came to an agreement, or I don't even want to say an agreement, but we patched things up. Right. And at the time. It just felt like it wouldn't be right if we didn't go all the way and try to get Gucci and Jeezy to kind of mend. Because now you became the bridge. I became the bridge. Coach K was working with Gucci at the time, you know, after. After Jeezy? After K Jeezy. was working with Gucci? Yeah. Interesting. Didn't, I didn't know K was working with Gucci. Yeah, that's how it all, that's how QC came about. Because was with Gucci and all because that? P is is Guop's man. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And Coach was managing Gucci, and Gucci made the connection with P and, and Coach. Wow. So yeah, P Co Coach went to Coach went to go lesson here, manage. Yeah, this is yeah. Coach went to manage Gucci after Jeezy, and then you know there were rumblings that Jeezy and Gucci had kind of like seen each other or had a convo and. You know, once we heard about that, we was like, look, let's like, if we're going to do this, let's go all out. So we had a conversation. Were you trying to put a gangster grills together with them? It we sounds were, like we. Um, or was it more important? Well, they were the trying to, they were, they were song, like the Jeezy was supposed to get on a Gucci song and Gucci was supposed to get on a Jeezy song. So if y'all remember the, the Trapper Die 2 song mm. that came out, there was a Gucci verse on there and everybody thought it was fake. But it was real, right. you know. And then Jeezy was supposed to do a Gucci song that I don't think ever happened at that time. But we went on the radio. We went on Hot 107.9. And I did like a special edition of Gangsta Girl Radio. It was like a Thursday night. And me and Jeezy got on the radio and, and, and you know, went live and, you know, made our amends and said, let's get back to work. And then Gucci called from jail and got on the phone. And y'all gotta understand, like, this is at a time in Atlanta where it was like, it really like- Tore the city. Tore the city up. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Like, down it was to, fractured. Like, down to the point of like, kids in school who were like, kids of security of various, you know, of both parties. And there were just issues like, you know, if, if somebody from this camp was in the club, you couldn't play this music. If the other camp was in the club, you couldn't play this man's music. Like, mm. it was tense. That was the only time in my life where I ever felt like I had to look over my shoulder when I would go out. And I didn't like that feeling. Like, I don't, I don't like moving like that. Like, I've always been, I've always felt love from the streets. Right. Wherever I go, like the, the streets love me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. So was there was so, there like okay, we going through this drama, but we making so much money right now. Was the money a factor? In what way? In a way where okay, all this shit is going on. These guys are going at each other. Well, it was fucking the, the money up. Are, it was fucking the money up because it was just it was it was it was fucking the city up like. DJs were getting hands put on them, mm. you know, for playing the records like right. a Jeezy record. If 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 1017 was in there, or you know, if somebody played a Gucci record, if CTE was in there, like 
it was just getting hostile. So when we went on the radio and like patched it up, it was like a weight lifted off the city's like shoulders. Like it was just a celebration that night. Like it was like, it was like the verses before the verses happened gotcha. in a sense. Like that was the initial trying to rectify it and get, get these guys back together. Or, you know, and again, like some real shit took place. So yeah. we understand why, you know, it, it is what it is. Why it took so long. Yeah. <laughs> This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers Got bars I can hang with the backpackers Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers I'm in the hood with the work you heard Making fiends leave earth you heard Got your baby mama thirst you heard Feel the flow nigga throw it in reverse This the wave you need to surf you heard